Hold it again for five seconds. Yes. And then you relax. And relax. So this is a really good one for strengthening the hip. And you're doing it correctly. You're doing a good job. She's had um, both hips replaced now, both knees, and she actually had a shoulder replaced in the Detroit area. The hips and knees were rehabbed here at Mary Freebed. The comprehensive rehab is an important part of the total healing process. And I don't think we would have the ability to take care of her once she got out of St. Mary's at home. And we don't really know how to rehab her in the best way. And I think there's the mix here of tough love and conventional love to really help people move forward to the next step. And I have to say, this is probably the shortest rehab she's ever had here. Okay, so Tatiana, we're gonna lead up with the stronger one leg. Step at a time, right? One step at a time. And when you first came here, you couldn't even get out of your wheelchair. And in a matter of just a few days, she was able to start standing, walking, and now she's walking up and down the stairs and she's so excited. I don't believe this. I find that with them, they have a fantastic soul. You want to participate. You want to do things that they tell you to do it because they have always that nice thoughts or nice words to tell you. Hey, you can do it. They are very caring, not also the therapist staff, but also the, the nursing staff. If you call a certain hour of the day, of, of the night, they know why you call and what you need. We thought it was very important for her to come here in rehab, to be close to family, to have my support, my wife's support, her grandchildren's support. So Mary Freebed at that time seemed like the perfect solution where we could you know, be close to her, offer her support, and she actually comes to stay with us a couple weeks after the rehab, just so we know she's cooking her own meals, going up and down the stairs, and, and the uh, improvement she makes is absolutely precipitous, being close to family. You have to have the support of your family, period. In my case, because I am 84 year old, I thought that uh, I just needed to be a little bit more around because they are my metaphor to the future. Okay, uh, they want me around, right? So. <laughs> she teaches us lots of things that she's done in her, her experiences at Mary Freebed and um, in her job in the past and stuff like that. We can do stuff with it. But I love her, so. I've appreciated the contact, for example, with Louise Summers, who's her social worker. Um, Louise is invaluable in being able to maintain that dialogue for us and we know what's going on. She's already come to us with information before we have to ask the quest, answer the, you know, ask the question of her. So, um, you know, just the communication piece, especially when I'm busy with small children and we're going back and forth, it just really kind of pulls it all together it's seamless for us. And I am so thankful for them and I wish right now send them a huge amount of thanks.